Howdy, uh, I'm hanging out in the woods on a beautiful cold Saturday morning in uh, late December in Raleigh, North Carolina. I have come across uh, a, a nice collection of Gallerina marginata. Um, at least I believe it is Gallerina marginata. In any event, it is uh, a deadly mushroom. So the deadly gallerinas, also known as funeral bells, are uh, the reason that uh, people encourage uh, not eating LBMs, which is mycologies for uh, little brown mushrooms. So they always grow on wood. Um, they start out this sort of tawny color and uh, they're really quite a pretty mushroom because in addition to this sort of, uh, you know, um, I don't know, almost chestnut color, uh, they also have this very uh, sort of cute ring on the stem, and uh, so it's a little bit on the, the whitish side. It is very uh, delicate, and, um, you know, Mushroom Expert describes it as uh, like a bracelet, which I kind of like. I'm having a little difficulty getting a good... Uh, focus on it, but it's right here, and, uh, you know, it is very distinctive for Gallerina. A lot of other LBMs um, are pretty uh, indistinct. They're just sort of little brown mushrooms that grow everywhere on the ground and also on wood pretty prevalently. Um, so you don't want to eat this mushroom at all. Uh, it will shut down uh, key uh, functions in your liver. So basically what happens is uh, if you consume these mushrooms, once you digest them, there's uh, a sort of very, very elaborate and huge molecule that will hitchhike on your bile acids and uh, basically cycle through your liver and do continuous damage over the course of, uh, you know, 48 hours or more. So if you eat this mushroom, it's very similar, well, it's the same uh, issue as you would get with death cap mushrooms and other uh, poisonous amanita mushrooms. Uh, so basically, if you eat the mushrooms, you feel fine, and then at a certain point, you puke your guts out, maybe the other end too, and then you start to feel better. Uh, but at that point, the damage is already done because uh, the uh, amatoxins that um, are in the mushrooms are already attached to your... Uh, liver bile and that really sucks. Um, so, you know, definitely this is the reason that little brown mushrooms generally um, are to be avoided. And they're just really difficult to identify, like regardless of species, uh, you know, with the gallerinas, even though that uh, little ring is very distinct, it oftentimes sloughs off. Uh, right here, you know, and the reason I'm, I'm not sure it's gallerina marginata uh, versus, you know, a different Gallerina species is that uh, marginata often has sort of lighter tones or lighter colors around, um, you know, the margin of the uh, cap. And I can't quite tell if the light color here is uh, a little bit of frost or um, a little bit of coloration. So, uh, yeah, that's the deal with Gallerina. Definitely don't eat them, as you can uh, observe. I've handled them liberally. There's no problem with handling poisonous mushrooms. I'm going to wash my hands, but there's there's no risk whatsoever. You have to actually eat them in order for them to do you harm. Um, the other thing that I have here that's really frozen in but is kind of a nice specimen is a uh, Pluteus cervinus group. So this is uh, also known as the deer mushroom. It's very common, especially uh, it's a mushroom you'll see in cooler weather. And it also grows on wood. A lot of your classic cap and stem mushrooms do not. So uh, this is kind of a neat thing to uh, find alongside our, our deadly mushrooms here. But it's uh, also a wood decomposer. It has whitish gills that turn pinky uh, as it matures. It's a little hard to see in the camera, but it does have sort of a pink flush going on. And then this sort of uh, variegated coloration is, is sort of a dull fawn color, hence deer mushroom. Uh, you can eat these. I don't eat them. They're on the list of things I have eaten, and I have a spectrum on uh, edible mushrooms, and that is whether it is more or less satisfying than a Hot Pocket. And I will say definitively that uh, Pluteus mushrooms are not as good as a Hot Pocket. So, um, you know, barring extreme circumstances, I wouldn't necessarily recommend them. And of course, I would absolutely not recommend uh, any gallerinas uh, except for handling and observing them because they're cute and pretty.